Ladies and gentlemen, I am so happy that we are here in Rome, Italy, the eternal city for this Rome season of dining on a dime. I'm a little intimidated. I know very little about this city. I've only been here once when I was a very small child and I don't really remember a lot about it. I don't speak the language. I know that I love the food though. And so that's what hopefully is gonna bring me through this entire season of delicious Italian food here in Rome. Dining on a dime, the show would indicate that it's about cheap food, which it is, but that's not all that it is. It's about the idea that food that is eaten by your average everyday person, that is the best way to get to know a place. I'm hoping to connect with the people and the culture of Rome through the cuisine of Rome and through some of its quintessential dishes. So. I'm really excited to try this first place, which is called Porno Campo di Fiori. They do Roman pizza, which is thin crust pizza al taglio, which literally means pizza by the cut, where you determine how much pizza you want with really fresh, simple ingredients. So here we go at the Rome season. I'm a little scared. I'm very excited. Let's get going. Come posso ordinare? Quante persone? Uh, Gio... Signore consiglia. Al ah, signore consiglia, poco? 100 grammi. 100 grammi. 100 grammi di quella, 100 di questa. Vorrei 100 grammi prosciutto, 100 grammi pomodoro. 100 grammi, grammi, grammi di patate, capito? E questa invece è già pronta. Buona. Beautiful. Ah, oh, beh. Opa, calda, calda. Bravo, mi raccomando, eh. Non gra è gra 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 La pizza è molto buona. Grazie. E quel, quello, signore, okay. è un brigantone. Ok. È Massimo Bertotti. Thank you, grazie mille. Prego. I've got my 0.1 kilos of uh, three different kinds of pizza. So now I have to go pay for it. Grazie. It seems like pizza is like a daily routine for a lot of Romans. They come in, they get their pizza, and they go. Can you tell me about the importance of pizza to daily life for Roman people? Beh, la pizza è adatta per per la colazione, oppure per anche per il pranzo, per la merenda. Si può mangiare qualsiasi ora del giorno, secondo me. Insomma, non è che ci sono ci sono dei limiti. Si può mangiare classica Roma pizza in mortadella pizza con il prosciutto e, e quindi all'ora di pranzo è uno spuntino per poter poi magari la sera mangiare altre cose insomma però ecco si abbina e, e si può mangiare sempre secondo me buonissima sempre secondo me what makes this pizza place different than the other pizza places i metodi sono più o meno gli stessi poi ci sono delle piccole sfumature che fanno la differenza come in tutte le cose l'amore la passione la qualità degli ingredienti la qualità dell'olio anche qui la pizza sono due pizze se le fanno due persone diverse ci sono delle piccole differenze ma non così grandi insomma piccole differenze perché dipende dalla passione dall'esperienza dall da tanti fattori insomma no? questa è la caratteristica del prodotto artigianale che non è mai sempre uguale insomma. have you had pizza in america yes what do you think you can be honest honest no, uh, <laughs> no, I don't like no, it. No, I don't like it. <laughs> That's okay. Oh, avere l'impegno, eh, metterci l'impegno e la passione. Si può fare in tutto il mondo e la pizza secondo me va bene da per tutto. È mondiale secondo me, un bene del mondo. Insomma. Thank you. Grazie mille. Grazie a voi. I'm going to go have some of this delicious pizza now. Thank you very much. Ok, grazie. All right, unboxing video. To make it more portable, they fold it over. This is the zucchini. Beautiful. What's your name? Conrad. What is your name? Lucas. Lucas, where are you from? I live in Los Angeles. Ah. Yeah. Where are you from? German. You're German? Oh, hi. The quality of the ingredients is very important. 
and you can taste the zucchini. It tastes like zucchini. And that's why I like it. And it's all fresh. Mm-hmm. So good, man. The passion of the people who are making the pizza, the quality of the dough, the oil. It's simple, and so it allows the ingredients to really speak for themselves. I love this. Okay. Bachelor number two. This is the pizza rosa. This is just the pure red pizza. Tomato, olive oil, salt. Extremely straightforward. It's so good. It's like eating a tomato. It's just the sweet acid tomato. It's so strong and it's so delicious. I'm gonna say the preference in Roman cuisine is that they really like to see single ingredients shine through. There's not like a ton of mixing and matching where you just pile one thing on top of the other on top of the other. When I was in college or whatever, like you eat pizza all the time and then you feel horrible. Like you feel like a horrible person because it's bad for you. But like this isn't. And so it's totally feasible that this is just like your lunch stop or this is like your mid-morning snack and you just come and you grab a piece and you go. We've got a few more kinds to try. Pizza Bianco. It may underwhelm you in its simplicity. It's just gonna look like bread, but what we know is that this is very carefully made. You have sort of that initial crunch when you bite in. And with the Pizza Bianco, where there's nothing really else going on, you've just got olive oil and salt, the quality of the dough really comes through. The statement here is that when you have quality ingredients, when you do something well, you don't need to make it more complicated. That is the statement. Oh. Bye, Conrad, ciao. Okay, last one. This is the pomodoro. Wonderful. Tastes like herbs. Tastes like the fresh tomato. I'd say compared to the pizza rosa, which is like really saucy, more savory, salty, this is sharper, lighter, more acidic tomato taste. I remember coming to Rome when I was a very little child and having pizza and being very disappointed. Seeing Pizza Rosa and being like, how do you not put cheese on a pizza? Or seeing Pizza Bianco and being like, how do you not put anything on a pizza? Who knew Italians made such horrible pizza? It made no sense to me at all. Now, of course, I'm older and I'm wiser, and I understand that there is beauty in this simplicity. This is just so far superior to 99.9% .9 of anything you would find in the United States, just because it is so clean and so simple. I'm gonna go enjoy this pizza as it's meant to be enjoyed, like Romans do. They take it, they go for a walk, and they eat while they're on the go. So let's take this pizza and let's uh, let's go have a look around. Let's go. Do I want a gladiator shirt? Yes, I think I do. I love this blood orange. Thank you. They're so cute. Look at them. All right, everybody, we've had a great day of eating pizza al taglio. And now I've got another classic Roman street food. This is supli. It's like a rice ball with sauce and mozzarella cheese, and it's fried. So I'm gonna enjoy this after I have my prosciutto pizza. I really hope you enjoyed this episode of Dining on a Dime from Forno Campo di Fiori in the historic center of Rome, Italy. If you'd like to watch more, please click here. Buongiorno, pizza?